Jerry! Jerry! I don't see why that useless drip you call a husband has to get common. Because someone needs to drive and you have been suspended again. What did you do this time, Daddy? Nothing. It's how you see discrimination. The only crime I committed was to be born a Catholic. Jerry's never been suspended and he's a Catholic. He's also a prick, but that's by the bay. Cut that out, Dad. Found some. <gasps> Found some, Mary. Great. Right. That's us away. Have a nice time. Tell that free state fucker to shift his hole. All right, Joe, if you just follow me. Well, why should I follow you? I've got the map. Ah. Well, now I have the map. Fuck, da. Joe, it's, it's all just a bit trickier today. There are so many roadblocks up, there are so many diversions, and, you know, I drive for a living. He says this, I have something to be proud of. Major traffic disruption. All right, are anticipated. Then we shouldn't have to take the bus to school. You should be driving them. You useless shit. I have to work, Joe. Work? <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yes. Why don't you just leave my Mary alone? Because we've been married for 17 years, Joe. We have two children. And because we're in love with each other. Oh, folk. I find some dirt in you yet, boy. I've got people working on it. Hey, got me eye on you, boy. Jesus, Joe. What are you doing here? Being your fancy woman, I suppose. No, I'm not. I'm collecting Mary's photographs. And if I was having an illicit rendezvous with my mistress, I'm not sure that the supermarket that my father-in-law is doing the big shop in would be the best place for it, really. Quinn, you say? That's right. Here we go. Great. That'll be £3.75, please. And have you got your wee docket there? Yeah, I do, yeah. It's a wee red slip of paper, about J big. Yeah. Dark blue letter and it has. Yeah, I, I know. Not a navy blue now, more like a royal blue. I know what it looks like. Times New Roman, I believe the font is called. I just can't find it. Prick. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry. Um, do you absolutely need it? I'm afraid I do, sir, yes. Proof of ID. But you have my surname written on it there. How do I know that's your surname? Because I just told you it was my surname. You could be lying. Well, why would I lie? To get your hands on someone else's photos. And why would I want somebody else's photos? Like, who would pay for somebody else's photos? Uh, stalker, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Very good, sir. A stalker. I'm not a stalker. Look, why don't you just go home and have a wee look for your wee docket? No, this is ridiculous. Just open that up and take out one of the photos. <sighs> you see? Ask me wife there. How do I know you're not just telling me that? Because that's me standing beside her. I suppose you do look a bit like this man. I am this man. It could be you. It's definitely me. Look, my name is Jerry Quinn. This is my father-in-law, Joe. He can vouch for me. I've never seen this man before in my life. No docket, no photographs. They were my birthday photos, for God's sake. There's definite grounds for an annulment here, Mary. I mean, you only turned 33 once. I'm 33 a few times now, in fairness, Mary. Well, aren't you a brave man, given the circumstances? Mary, come on. Would you not reconsider? No, dear. Please, love. Just at once. I'm not letting you hit him, dear. I'm devastated. That was when I lost the half stone doing the Rosemary Conley as well. My collarbone was sort of poking through my skin. Do you remember, Mary? Ah, uh, you were far too thin, Sarah. No, it was. It was brilliant. And now I haven't got so much as a photograph to look back on. Look. It's gone. The docket's gone. Why don't we just move on? Why don't you just move out? OK, that's one portion of redfish, one portion of whitefish, two bags of chips. No, no, no. Two bags won't be enough. Two's plenty, Joe. Four. Four should cover us. Three, then. We'll compromise. I'll compromise you through that window. That's enough, dear. The tight bastard's trying to starve us all, Mary. OK. Four bags of chips, then. And I want 12 chicken nuggets, a small battered hot dog, plenty of onions, plenty of... Get a move on, Daddy. Is that chippy? Well, it's every man for himself on a Friday night. I am trying to concentrate here, Ern. All right, Mommy. All right, love. Did you ask about the trust fund? I, I don't have one. I take it that means I don't have one. For the love of God. Will four bags be enough? More than enough. I say we'd need five to be safe. Do you not think, Dad? Stick down, Faith. <sighs> Five bags of chips, then. I'll have a chicken fillet burger. No lettuce, no tomato, no cheese. I'll just write plain, will I? No onions, no cucumber. One plain. No relish, no pickles, no mayonnaise. No chicken. What do you mean, no chicken? Get that. <sighs> it's a chicken burger. Of course I want chicken. What's this prick up to now? What the hell were you playing at back there, Kimo Sabi? 
That's actually a Native American term. Oh, well, you meant to be. Japanese. Was there something else, or...? Yes. Yes, there was something else, actually. Look, I'm sure you have questions. I just don't really want to get into it all. Yeah, well, we didn't really want you to get into our boot, but... Maybe just leave the fella be, sure. What's the odds? And what if they pull us over at the checkpoint, Joe? What if the army asks to search the car? <laughs> the Brits are flat out with them for it. They'll not bother with the legs of us. That's a good point. Stay out of it, you. Right. In you go, son. Ada! What do you want me to do? Chuck the way in out the middle of nowhere? But this is dangerous, Joe. He is dangerous. Uh, I'm not dangerous. In fairness, Emmett, if you were dangerous, you wouldn't say that you were dangerous, would you? True. Shh! Can you hear that? you what? Come on, Emmett, out ah, you go. Ah, ah. You just stay where you are, son. Take it. It's... It's, it's like a ticking sound. I'm not comfortable driving him across the border. Fine. I'll drive him. It's aiding and abetting. We're talking serious jail time here. Well, it's a risk we have to take. No, it's not, Joe. It's not a risk we have to take. It's a risk we shouldn't take. Well, you take that tone with me, boy. OK, look, I've yet to hear anybody say anything to convince me that bringing that lad across the border with us is a good idea. Shit, he's coming. I really didn't want to have to do this. Jesus Christ! Get down! Everybody, get down! Is there something wrong with her? Stop that, Aaron. Sorry, Emma, you were saying? I didn't want to put you in this position, but I can't stress the seriousness of my situation. Anything else? Oh, do you know what? I wouldn't mind a knickerbocker glory. Right. You need to help me out here. We do that and we're breaking the law. Well, you recognise the legal system of a brutal, imperialistic oppressor, do you? Uh, if they can put me in jail for 20 years, then yes, Emmett. Yes, I do. Listen, listen. Have you killed anyone, son? No. Well, at least not directly. Well, there you go. So that settles it. I don't think that does settle it, actually, Joe. You know what's wrong with you, Jerry? You're an awful wuss. I'm not a wuss. So you're afraid of your own shadow? No, I'm not. Well, then grow a set of balls and help a fella out. I have a set of balls, thank you very much. Seriously, Daddy. You're even afraid of that wee girl. What wee girl? That waitress. You wanted a, a cup of tea, she brought you a Coke, and you just sat there and said, sweet Fanny Adams. <laughs> Your granddad said Fanny. Well, that's because I like Coke. Her customer service is shocking as well. I desperately someone should say something. Yeah, Jerry! Jerry should say something! You will. No problem. I'll say something. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, I um, I ordered uh, tea, you brought me a Coke, and that's not acceptable. But you drank the Coke. That's not the point. And your service has been nothing short of appalling. Your attitude is worse. It's simply not good enough. I'll, uh, I'll bring you a tea. You do that. I'm sorry. I got a bit of bad news today. I haven't really been able to focus on... Been a bit distracted, maybe. I'm sorry. I'll just clear No, 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 no. Ignore all that. I'll bring you your tea right away, so... Well, there was absolutely no need for that. That's what she's called, is she? She is, hi. Maeve, Maeve. Really? Maeve? Why does your mother make that sound? I cannot believe this. I think it's a good thing, love. I'll just keep out of it, you. And that's who you were winking at in mass? Winking? Mm -hmm. At your age? Christ, I feel sick. It was only a friendly wink. There is no such thing as a friendly wink. Is there not? Our poor mother is barely cold. And you're straight back out there, winking away. Your mother's been dead ten years, Mary. Look, I'll not tell you again. This is not close. We need to shift ourselves. We're the last Fenian standing. Relax, though. We've a good two or three hours before the rioting starts. I'll not settle myself until we're over that border, Dad. You're absolutely sure we need the big clock, love? We've been through this, Jerry. Definitely don't want to bring the wee clock. I can't be doing with the wee clock. What exactly is your problem with a big clock? I wouldn't say I have a problem as such. It's just much heavier and takes up a lot of room. I'm telling you, Mary, that's how it starts. 
Now he's dictating what size of clock you can pack. Next he'd be telling you what to wear, what to say. Before you know it, you'll be faking your own death and assuming a new identity. Tell Sarah, this is the fella that blow dries my hair. He's an artist. Take care. That Mave away. Aye. Nice woman. Aye. Mary and Sarah will come round eventually, Joe. It's just hard for them to see you with somebody else, you know? As far as they're concerned, their mother was perfect. Piss off, Jerry. 